Hi. I got a question about eating disorder peer spaces, and uh, I am a big, big proponent of creating eating disorder peer support communities. I think those should be kind of the mainstay in eating disorder recovery work because <clears throat> professional care is hard to access, even when you can access it, and it's good, which <laughs> is hard to find. Uh, you only get it like a, you know, maybe a couple hours a week and the slog of eating disorder recovery is day in and day out. It's 24-7. Um, so I think to, to serve our recovery, because I also think it's good, it's good politics, it's more accessible. Um, there are so many reasons why eating disorder peer support communities, uh, I think, should be kind of the, the the dominant support spaces for recovery as opposed to professional services. Um, and this person who asked the question had had negative <clears throat> experiences in eating disorder peer support spaces, which makes a lot of sense because we live in a totally disordered society. We're all swimming in the water of diet culture of white supremacist, capitalist, cis heteropatriarchy. But to do eating disorder recovery, we also have to do body liberation. And that means uh, this is a this is an actively political approach. This is this is a critical consciousness in doing this work. So we 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 commit to being actively anti-fat phobic, I, I would say fat positive, to being actively anti-racist, uh, actively trans-inclusive and, and fighting against gendered norms. Uh, so we're, we're doing this work against the systems that, that make and keep us sick. So in these spaces, um, it can be helpful to have some some content maybe that anchors us and i like things to be as as low cost or free as possible and so maybe that's some podcast episodes uh i i love food psych it's one of the few that i feel comfortable um recommending like just entirely maybe uh the the body is not an apology uh, Sonia Renee Taylor also has a workbook, The Body is Not an Apology workbook, so maybe going through that. Um, there's so much good content out there now, and um, so maybe draw on some of that for the work within your group, and then let things, let things flow from that. And we also, you know, I, I am a little bit dogmatic, I think, about what body liberation looks like. And I'm fine with that. I actually, uh, I, I support myself in that. <laughs> and we, we have to meet people where they are. Um, that's that's the, the tension of, a, of community building, is that not everyone is going to get it yet. Um, Many of us didn't get it at a time, whatever it is that's that's kind of crucial to the recovery work. And so we show up with compassion, commitment to each other, uh, a, a clear values and political orientation, and um, yeah, I forget there was something else, but I forgot. So. So we meet people where they are. Oh, boundaries, boundaries. Did I list that? Yeah, right. Compassion, compassion, our strong politics and values and boundaries. And we let people learn how to be with themselves and with each other. So um, we, we let the most marginalized people in the space speak about their experiences. We absorb, we listen. We let people learn where they need to learn. We call people in sometimes. We guide people around language. Uh, something I talk about a lot is the idea, this has won me many enemies on Tumblr. Um, 
I don't think thin people have a right to say, I feel fat. I mean, come on. And that's how the eating disorder often that's 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 the narrative that's the the expression of the feeling that gets imposed on thin people with eating disorders and so okay so they they come in with that maybe we we don't let the fat people in the space experience that kind of harm that's unacceptable and we we teach the people who don't know better yet we say like hey I, I hear what you're saying right now, and the way that you're framing that is actually pretty harmful to people who actually are fat and have eating disorders and are in recovery here, and we need to keep uh, a reasonably safe space. So here are some alternatives to what you're saying. Like, I have posts about this. Uh, you know, I'm having such a bad body image day. I'm really struggling with negative judgments about my body. I feel like I'm coming out of my skin right now. I feel like I can't stand to be in my body. I mean, there are so many ways that we can express this that are much more accurate than that classic, just super fat phobic, really entitled statement, I feel fat, which is like pretty dominant in uh, eating disorder treatment centers and things. So that's that's one example. And And if people can't do it, then, you know, boundaries. We have boundaries. But, but I think what, what we find in peer support community is that most people are there to learn and grow and heal and be um, healthy. I, I say that, I have my own definition of that, members of the collective and of the community. So um, yes, so, I, that, so these are kind of vague guidelines because this is... Uh, the, the specificity will, will come with the particular circumstances that you're creating these groups under. So it can kind of only give these general guidelines and then we apply them in, in specific and various ways depending on what's needed and um, these spaces. So yeah, and practically speaking, you know, I, I like social media groups. You can do... Um, weekly groups. I love weekly groups so that people have that rhythm and can can rely on um, peer support group meetings together. Um, so yeah, online social media, online meetings, uh, in-person meetings. You can do it at coffee shops. I mean, now I know we're in the era of COVID now, but um, at meeting at someone's house, uh, obviously virtual that's not an issue so you find your you find your ways and you find your people and then you commit to doing the work together to doing the really countercultural like pretty radical work that is eating disorder recovery and body liberation so i hope that helps um and i wish you all of the best with your uh peer community building endeavors